Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Mine Colony Survival Nordic Style. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to call this yet. Viking, Nordic, something like that. Um, so guys, uh, yeah, if you're new to the series and all that kind of stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll leave a link in the card above. I keep forgetting about that with these survival series. So I've upgraded the builder, and um, I was actually upgrading the town hall for this episode, and then uh, I don't know if it was the storm. I'm guessing it's the storm. Like I've honestly... Like, just left it on, put myself in a little dirt, dirt, dirt hut. <laughs> I'm not joking, this is what I do, like, get all, get all the materials together, put myself in a dirt hut, and then just leave it. But, um, yeah, so stuff's happened, it's burnt down, I've put out most of the fire, as you saw there. I've turned fire tick, um, off. Now, what I don't know, whoops, what I don't know is if this was a lightning strike, which is probable, or if it's actually, um, you know, as, as part of the upgrade, some fire goes into it. So, uh, hey guys, this is what the... <laughs> This is the downside of the Nordic style, I guess. Uh, it's made out of wood, and wood is flammable, and I have not come across this for a very long time. Whoa. Okay, so there we go. That was a nice amount of lag. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What's going on with the lag? Okay, so lagging out. That was weird. Um, yeah, so it's already yeah, it's on fire. That's great. So I've switched, I switched fire tick to false, just in case it's something like that. Because that's going to get annoying quite quickly. Um, so at least I can show you guys. At least I can show you guys the builder. So I, you can't get up any higher. Um, it doesn't look like there's too many, you know, things changing with this. Maybe the tower got taller. I'm not totally sure. Got some iron bars here, um, and there's just some. Well, there's still some stuff outside. Really, that's all the same. Just if I don't shut myself in. Um, and really upstairs, there's just some of the like never kind of materials here, like uh, soul sand and never brick and some quartz so we've got all of that now so yeah um, I don't know what's going on here builder John T or is he I don't know but uh, it's all kind of bugged out I guess because it all set on fire so I'm gonna have a look see if I can fix this all up and um, <laughs> probably have to get a load more wood but that's fine we've got tons of wood around all right then, guys. So the upgraded town hall. Here we go. This is what it looks like now. Now that it's uh, not burnt down. Um, so we've got some banners, which is interesting. I did see that there is in the uh, town hall itself. Where is it? Settings. You can do the team color, and you can also do a flag. So um, how cool is that? So white color flag. I don't know how that actually, you know, how that gets popped around. Whether these like switch at some point, or I, I have to do that. I don't know. We'll find out. So let's have a look um, at this building. I'm too excited because it's only just done. Uh, so the sides have been, uh, it looks like they've been extended. Um, so before it was like a more uh, slab roof. So I'm guessing we've got some more room somewhere upstairs. Or it's just bigger ceilings, things like that. Uh, around the back pretty much the same. It just looks bigger, doesn't it? Everything just looks bigger. We've got some hay bales outside. Oh, stone brick as well. Yeah, I had to make loads of stone bricks. So that's why we've got stone brick here. Um, so I guess that's just an upgrade to the path. And in here what's different oh so that's where the banner was I was wondering there's like a black banner and there's a white banner I was thinking like why what are those for uh, and also the pink carpet <laughs> pink and also the cyan carpet okay very colorful fine <laughs> uh, upstairs the you're a John T <laughs> just like staring um, this has definitely got bigger so this is definitely a lot bigger a lot, lot larger the beds have moved um, looks like there's still some damage, so I think I'm gonna have to click on repair and then get some more blocks in. Uh, so that's what oh, that's how the bookcases were. I had to go and uh, go and find cows and stuff. I've completely raided the village. There's no more beds in the other village now, uh, so that's what those two are. Okay, cool. So I'll repair this. Uh, what I am gonna do, guys, is uh, so build options and if we do repair, done and kick that off. Uh, what I'm going to do is upgrade both the builder and also the village hall to level 5 if I can. Um, the only thing that's really going to stop me is going to be if there's anything in the end because uh, I haven't found a what's it called a fortress thingy. Um, what are they called? The underground thing where you have to go into the end. That place that I've forgotten. Um, so that's the only thing that can really stop me. If that does stop me, uh, we'll find out, won't we? Let's, let's have a look. I mean, there's nothing stopping us because this is all I'm going to be doing anyway. Um, that's alright, got all that stuff, so that's cool. Uh, let's have a look, so we've got sponge, purple block, yeah, okay, so it's the end. So we're not going to be doing that then. Uh, same with prismarine and stuff like that. So prismarine, I haven't found one of the places for that, so okay. Well, that's not going to be, that's going to be a no-starter then. 
So I think what I'll do then is I'll gather up the materials uh, that's needed, or I'll have a look to see actually where I want to put a, a warehouse and also a miner. So we've got four villagers, we've only got one that's assigned as a builder. So we could do with having a miner, uh, and then with the warehouse we need to have the courier as well. So we need to build quite a few different bits and pieces. Uh, so maybe we, in fact, if we start with the miner, uh, or miner, mine, there we go, mine. Uh, so we need to get axe and stuff. Right, so crafting map recipe for the mine. It's just going to be wood. Um, you can use a wood pickaxe or any other types of pickaxes, and also a build wand, so that will give us that. Where are we going to put this one? Um, I'm thinking of having it around the back here. I'm, what I'm thinking, if I go through the rough plan, this area, you can see that I've gone um, a little bit further as well. I've kind of expanded out the area because I've been trying to... Um, well, I have to keep on getting cows and I keep on getting annoyed by these like blank blobs. Obviously, that one's really annoying me. Um, but what I'm thinking on the map, if we go back to it, is having my farms mostly on this side. We'll have uh, some extra stuff around here, like the fanciest stuff. Um, I think so, and I think maybe industry this side, something like that, I don't know, it's kind of roughly in my mind is what's going to happen. So what I'm thinking here is actually having it behind. So we've got the miner, and we want to switch it to the Nordic style, there we go, and I need to pull this over, so where's the barrier for this one, or the edge for this one, that's what I need to know. Also, if we upgrade this to level 5, it makes it a little bit easier, I find, anyway, to see what it's going to look like right at the end. So that looks like it's overlapping, which is not good. So that, I'm guessing, is where that is. It's weird, usually it ends up looking or showing me what's going on. So this is the back of the building. Okay. And then that's the front of the building. Okay, so that's what's going on there. So we're going to need a lot of stone and stuff for that, that's fine. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's finished building the town hall, or finished repairing the town hall, should it say. Um, right, so when we go to there, yeah, that's going to be knocked right into it. So this is going to have just a little bit of a gap between it. That will probably be touching it, in fact. If we have a look at this, I can see that that is the edge block. So that'll be touching right into that. That's fine by me, I don't really, I don't really mind that, strangely enough. Uh, but we've also got these blocks here. So where are those blocks from then? Hmm. Right, so just by rotating it, um, that has then shown me where the block edge is. So I don't want it building into it because that will be a nightmare. Um, so I think what we end up doing is we've got this here. We end up having it... We're going to end up with it being on this side. So I'm going to have um, like a little path that will go down this side here. Uh, and then that will go to there. Now obviously I'm going to have to flatten out a lot of this grass here, but that's fine. I'm kind of already thinking I'm going to have to do that. So either that or this one in particular, we actually raise it up by one and we, we do start using the hill. Um, and then that will be a nice separation. But that should then, if we have a look at that, you can see the block. So that at least helps us out there. But yeah, have it that way round. That will then drop in obviously to there. And at the back then we can do some other stuff. Oh, sun's going down. Um, at the back then we can have that. But that is huge. As a miner's hut, that is absolutely huge. So obviously our level one's going to just be that for the time being. But it looks quite nice actually. It looks like a nice normal thing. And then while I'm looking on this side, this is like dropped down. So actually, we are going to have it dropped. We're going to have it dropped because of this side here. Because this is going to be relatively flat going that way. Uh, so that is what we're going to build. So we'll just go tick to that. There we go. And we're going to just create the build request. Uh, so it doesn't look like anything that's... No, it's all quite easy stuff. White stained glass. We're going to need a lot of white stained glass stuff. So there we go. We'll get that built, guys. And I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, guys. So the miner is complete. At least level 1 miner, anyway. So I've got Bart uh, working here just, you know, digging and stuff. He's going to be mining for us. Uh, hopefully we'll get this nice iron block that we've got here. So I've given him his materials. Um stuff like ladders and cobblestone apparently you needed, which I find odd, but alright, <laughs> especially since he's going to be digging up loads of cobblestone um, and stuff like that. Oh, apparently you done. What's going on? Pick up. Okay. Right. That's totally random. What do you want picking up? Pick up. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll just... Take that off you then. 
Who knows? I'll leave him anyway. I'll show you guys. <laughs> show you guys what's going on. There you go. Apparently he's happy now. Maybe it's just too much. Uh, too much cobble. I don't know. Um, but anyway, this is the miner hut. I actually really like this one. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Got a bit of a pit. Uh, my builder got stuck a couple of times. I had to dig them out because uh, they had gone down into there to dig out some of the area. Um, but yeah, nice little building going on here that John T has built for us. So. Uh, Bart's now has got his own little miner's hut. So what we're going to do is we are also going to upgrade this one by another one. So we are going to build the next upgrade. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything. No, there's nothing in there that we can't have. And that's just so that he can go down to a further level. So what we should get, there we go, on levels. Well, he hasn't gone anywhere yet. But um, yeah, what we should be able to see is stuff. I haven't seen this minimum stock thing before, but that looks really cool. So that is something I need to be aware of for the future because that will be very useful for like minimum stock of um, pickaxes and ladders and all that kind of stuff. That is a very nice feature. Oh, lag. Um, so yeah, so we'll build up that guys and I'll show you it and uh, we'll probably then after that level we'll start uh, building the warehouse to start storing some goods. But at the minute, I need to go to bed. Okay, so the mine has been upgraded to the next level. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. We're going to upgrade it yet again. Uh, Bart has been working tirelessly to uh, to mine out quite a bit. He's not he's not doing too bad. He's doing better than I would do. So that's the main thing, um, which is cool. So what we've got now is an upgraded building. We've got this like crane thing on it. I quite like that. Uh, and it looks like it's got an extra floor on it as well. I wonder if we can go up there. Oh, we can. Oh, and that's where John T is. Now, John T keeps on saying that there's no towers or stuff like that nearby, which, um, yeah, we are going to have to definitely work on that. Not, that is a good idea. That is definitely a good idea. But for the time being, that'll be fine. Uh, I'm just going to go on to build options. I'm going to build another level of this. We've got the cobblestone wall, a uh, load of other stuff. I'm making sure we haven't got anything that's like weird in there. I have bookshelves. Darn it, bookshelves. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, the reason I say it's so annoying is just because... I need some cows. I've killed all the cows in the area. Um, so I think I might need to start bringing cows back. I might need to start making some like temporary pens somewhere. Uh, it's the same with uh, like black wool and things like that. I've been, I found quite a few black sheep around uh, and I kind of wish I'd brought them back to the base now. Um, right, so we're going to build something that's quite important. Uh, we are going to build first, uh, we're going to build a warehouse. So a warehouse, uh, it's got your build tool on the top. It's got the planks around the sides, any planks will do, and a chest. So that's going to be the warehouse. But we're also going to need to have a courier because a warehouse by itself doesn't really do anything. Uh, so we're going to need a courier. And that courier, I just whipped through that. Uh, same kind of thing. Um, there we go. Let me show it you here because I was just looking at this up. Uh, leather boots and have some wood around it and have your build tool. Uh, that will totally do. So where we're going to plonk this. I'm going to have a look first. You get the two now. So there we go, that's the Nordic one. And I'm going to whack this up to a level, whatever it is, million. Um, so that's there. How big is this thing? Quite big. <laughs> it's quite It's quite big. <laughs> that's fine by me. Um, right. So is that not even the front? Is that actually... Whoa, and it's quite... Oh, that's the front. Wow, okay. This is a really big building. Okay, well, that's fine. So I'm going to have this one quite close then. I'm going to have it right next to this one. Uh, where's the door? There's the doors. Um, and then that's the bit next to there. Uh, now, whether or not I go up a block is the only question. Well, it's quite ne near my portal. Um, I think... I think we actually keep this one down. Well, it's going to take out quite a few of my acacia trees, so that's fine by me. Um... But that is so cool. Right, so do we need to move it over? Nope. Put it right next to it. What's it going to be like? It's probably going to be touching. I am going to give it a one block gap for this one. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be knocking into it or not. But uh, that will then stop that. So I'll have almost like when you come into here. Drops down um, a little bit. We'll do a similar thing probably over there then. So that is going to be our warehouse uh, for the time being. Let's go through the levels of it first. Oh, it's just going to be a little dinky like wood kind of structure thing. That looks kind of cool though. Then goes gigantic. <laughs> That's going to need a load of stone. That's a good thing that got the miner then. And then get some extra levels and then builds up eventually to the max. So we'll whack that down. Um, that'll be cool. Uh, we've also got this courier's hut to knock down as well. Plonk down even, should I say. 
So what I'll definitely do is I'll dig through this this dirt level here. So what I think with the courier's hut, hmm, trying to figure out where to put it. Um, I might even oh, I do want it next to it, but I, I was thinking about having something around here near the near the main building. But actually, I wonder what it would look like over here because the delivery man even. So it's, I think it might have been renamed or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just what the the model's called. Uh, so maybe we have it in here. And what's that look like afterwards? Whoa, it's massive as well. It's huge. Okay. Maybe not there. Let me find another place for it. Right, so I'm going to plonk this one down. It's going to be right next to it. Uh, I'm actually going to knock it down a level because, like I said, with the other side, that's all going to be down one. Um, so it's not the same. So that one will be down one. This one will be down one. This will all go down by just one level. Uh, so we're going to have it here. It's going to be right up against the wall. So I've, I've found where the uh, the edge of this thing is. Uh, I don't know if it's just where I look or what. But if you see. And then knock it here. So we can see this level here is, is where it's at. So let me just make sure that's in the right place again. <laughs> oh no. Ah, that's why. There we go. Because I had it, had it up. So there we go. That is where I'm going to be building that. Uh, that will be right on the side. They're like that. So we've got the deliveryman's hut. They can then go to there. They've got near, near the mine and all that kind of stuff. So that should do. So let's tick that one off as well. Cool. So what I'll do, guys, is I will start uh, or get started on upgrading the miner's hut to level three. Uh, get the courier or the delivery man up to level one, and also the warehouse up to a level one. And I'll give you guys a tour of that when it's all done. All right then, guys. So the warehouse, the uh, delivery man. And also the miner has been leveled up. Well, I mean, the warehouse and the delivery man's been just leveled in general. Um, so this is the warehouse. Um, I kind of like the uh, style. I like that it's like in a Nordic style, but, uh, but different. Um, I know it's going to get really big. Uh, we've got Wells Arcowil. I need to rename him, actually. Um, I've dumped all of my stuff in here now. So all of my... Well, I've got a lot of dirt. Um, all of my stuff is just dumped in here. Um, the sort that you get... I need warehouse level 3, so we're going to have to level up the warehouse already, um, which is absolutely fine, I think. Yeah, we can do that. 40 racks, wow, that's a lot. Um, that's fine, so I'm going to start that anyway, start that off, because I need. I like that sort function, it's, it's amazing. I can see all the beds that I've pillaged. <laughs> so harsh. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the warehouse for the time being, start of it anyway. Um, I've cut back some of the uh, kind of dirt and stuff like that, dug it down by one. Uh, as well, this is the Deliveryman's Hut. Uh, it's quite a big hut. All of the Nordic stuff's quite big, actually. It's, it's a lot of wood and, and you know bits of cobble and stuff like that, so it's actually pretty cheap uh, compared to some of the other ones. But uh, yeah, it's kind of different, isn't it? So uh, let's have a look inside. Pretty bare inside, but that's fine. Um, so we'll also be leveling this up as well. I don't know what happens when we level these up, actually. I don't know if that's you get more people or it just makes it better. I don't know. Just making sure there's nothing like in there that I can't make. Yeah, there's all stuff that I can make, which is good. Uh, I'm definitely going to need some more white dye. Um, that I'm starting to really run low on. So, uh, yeah. I found some, uh, what's it called, Lily of the Valley over that way. So I'm hoping that there's going to be more. I know that there's a flower forest like 7,000 miles away, but uh, yeah, that'll do. Um, so here we go. Here's the miner. So it's been upgraded um, again. Uh, a lot bigger now. It's quite a big building. Uh, in terms of where Bart is, uh, he has... Oh, look, he's put a little sign up as well. That's cool. I was wondering what he needed the signs for and also what he needed the uh, stairs for because he was requesting those. So that's all sorted. There we go. Mine level zero. Node zero. Okay, cool. Um, so he's obviously working his way down. Why is there just cobble here? That's very interesting. What's going on here? I'm guessing water? Oh, I can hear a cave. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Let's have a look. Shall we? Cave. Right, okay. So, he's already found a cave over there. That's cool. Um, that's probably the one that I've... It's, it's like all linked up to everything else. So, interesting. Right, inside. I have not seen this at all. I'm trying to like uh, not actually go in and see stuff. So you guys get it as fresh as I do. So this is the main hall kind of part of it. it. Looks like it's gone up, I think. Yeah, it feels a lot taller, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's definitely gone up. Uh, I could do with actually cooking the ores and stuff in here now. Uh, so I've got some of the... Let's give him a load of tools. Got some coal. That's about it at the minute. 
Right, okay, so in here, what's different in here then? We go up. Uh, that's where the bookcases were, and then just goes up a little bit more as well to like a little ledge thing. Okay, well, fine. It's not too bad. Try not to die. Um, I'll also, I think, upgrade this one. Block of redstone. That is what I'm going to have the problem with, weirdly. I have found redstone, but I've only found it up. And also the lapis. I have not got a lot. Might mean... Block of gold, no problem. Those I found in those weird um, abandoned, like, hellspawn gate things. So that's fine. But uh, I think I need to go mining, really. So, uh, yeah, we will upgrade that one. I mean, I'll get the other ones, like, working and going off. The other thing that I want to upgrade, I know, this is going crazy. Um, <laughs> and it'll be probably the last bit of this episode, uh, well, after I show you guys what we're upgrading, is going to be the tavern. Um, so I'm going to be upgrading this tavern here. So I'm just going to make sure horizontal lantern. I didn't know how to make one of those um, until I had to pop it into this one and white carpet. That is all oh, absolutely fine. So also going to upgrade that. So I'm going to go upgrade crazy. I'm going to try and get as much as of this done. We're actually making a really good amount of progress uh, throughout this entire thing. I think part of that is that it it seems a lot cheaper. Uh, the materials are a lot cheaper and because um, it's wooden stone and stuff like that rather than uh, what it was last time where I had to make loads of the frames and things. So it's feeling a lot less painful this time with the Nordic style. So that's one other thing I would say. Medieval oak really does look good. But uh, the Nordic style, uh, because it's got a simpler material mix, uh, is actually easier to uh, e easier to do by hand. So I'd probably advise it as one of the starting ones. But anyway, guys, we are going to upgrade the warehouse, the uh, deliveryman, the uh, tavern, and hopefully the miner. I mean, the miner, I think we'll try and get that one done last. Um, because I need to go mining for it. I mean, I've only got one diamond, so I had to have found a diamond. Uh, but, um, oh yeah, and also food-wise, we're doing really well. Should have said that, yeah. So in between uh, the last time that I showed you guys, which I know for you guys would only be a few minutes, but the fields, I have expanded a little bit. So the fields are now quite big um, because I'm going to be focusing more on the industry side of things, the stuff I haven't done with this mod uh, first. But we have got things like potatoes now. Um, we've got potatoes, we've got wheat right in the middle, huge amounts of wheat, so these are these are eight wide uh, and goes back however long. Uh, and also carrots as well, so I've not had loads of carrots, I've not found loads, but I've found enough that I'm able to start um, well, growing them, plonk them in. So all I've been doing basically is this for the time being, and I did the same with the potatoes. Had a couple, keep on growing them, I'll get a whole strip and then any of the excess can then go off to my village's store basically. Um, so that has been working out pretty well, uh, food-wise. I need to do a couple di bi bits and bobs, um, which I'm going to be doing while those buildings are being built, uh, as well as obviously grabbing all the materials for them, because that's always, always the fun bit. But I'll be filling in this pond, uh, which means I need to move my sugarcane and my cactuses. Then again, my cactuses don't even need to be next to water, I think. I've just plonked them there because the sand was there. Um, but we definitely need sugar cane because I have to keep on making books um, so I think what we'll probably end up doing is this episode we'll finish up with uh, just finishing up those buildings getting them upgraded a little bit more I'll see how much time we've got I'm trying to do 20 minutes per episode but after that I will be looking probably at the next episode being farm based because I really could do with the cows for books and things like that we could do with getting a an, an, uh, university uh, so we can start researching stuff as well uh, but at that point really I need to be thinking about a military as well because we can get raided we can be attacked and that is really going to be um, be bad if we're a bit under un unprepared uh, should I say yeah so right guys I'll show you when those are all done all right then guys so we are done with uh, with those buildings anyway uh, so this is the new warehouse upgraded uh, so it has got an upper floor, but you can't get to it, so I'm guessing we can get there soon. And also, I think there's a floor uh, in, in there because uh, well, it just looks like it. What we do have is this extension around the side, so we've now got tons of racks going all the way around the entirety of this building. But yeah, that's where I think there's an extra floor, because there's a window there, but you can't get there. So I'm guessing next time. Um, so we will actually be upgrading this, actually. I should be saying that between this episode and the next episode, I want to upgrade some of these buildings, so let's have a look. Uh, yes, yeah, all stuff we can do, excellent. So we're going to upgrade the warehouse to level 3, that means I can get sort, which is what I really, really want. Um, over on this side, uh, I actually forgot that um, <laughs> when I built the miner, I wanted a path going down the back of this. So uh, yeah, I've wrecked that, haven't I? Um, but this is the delivery hut number 2, so 
think this is number two. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just got stuff in it instead. So it's now got some stuff in there. Uh, so we will also... Apart from compost barrier, I've never made one of those before. But apart from that, uh, we will be upgrading that because I have no idea about that. So we'll get that to the next one in the next one. Oh yeah, these trees, I should probably explain this. Uh, I've done quite a bit of landscaping while waiting for stuff to be built. The warehouse in particular took a very, very long time. Uh, I think it's because it was, you know, well, a kind of complete change of the building. Um, and it's quite a big one as well, so that took a very long time. What I've done is I've podzoled the area around here using the um, four spruce trees. So I've got lots of spruce trees around. That is the reason. We also need a lot of spruce wood as well. So um, yeah, I've been plonking those around. I've got rid of the lake as well. So this this has all been just filled in with dirt. Um, so that's all done. Uh, I can hear some zombies, which is a bit weird, but okay. Uh, so yeah, that's all been filled in. This has all been filled in as well, so this is all flat now. Uh, I'm going to try to keep stuff flat because although if I was doing it you know, creatively and all that kind of stuff, I would want to have different levels and all that stuff but because these are all flat, um, kind of like, you know, on, on the straight angle rather than, well, rather than being angled, uh, the, it just kind of looks a little bit weird when we get this sudden cut off. Um, so that's kind of a bit annoying, you know, I'm going to have to wait until this gets completely completed to then fill it in. Whereas if it was just on the same level, it wouldn't look bad. And another example of that is over on this side where we're going to be going into the next building. But you can see this kind of just sudden line, you know, um, that really annoys me. So <laughs> we will be, you know, getting everything on the same level from now on, I think is going to be the best way. So the, uh, let's go into the tavern first. So the tavern has changed quite a bit. Uh, it looks far better, like it, it just looks way, way better. Um, I think the original one was there to make it like cheap to build, which is fair enough, so I think it was good design on, on whoever made the initial design. Uh, inside pretty much exactly the same, just got uh, some other stuff in here. What we will do is we will just upgrade that one as well. And then finally, the miner, so the miner has got a very cool dragon head on there. Um, Bart has been mining crazily. I can't really show you guys. I want to jump in, obviously. Uh, but he has gone down basically to level 20, somewhere around that. Uh, inside, uh, I don't know what's changed inside, actually, because this got completed quite a little while ago. Pretty sure the tower has expanded. And in the tower, that's where we've got those materials, the expensive materials. So I found some redstone, found some lapis. Uh, I have gone mining. I've still only got two diamonds, so I'm hoping that Bart will be able to find some diamonds for me. At some point, uh, I keep on loading them up with iron uh, pickaxes. But guys, that is it for this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.